Well, uh, you know, I realize this isn't my uh, regular haunt, but uh, here I am at, uh, it's called Seattle's Best now. It used to be Starbucks at Borders. I got me a couple of new books, like Green World's Children by Larry Niven. Great author. I love his stuff. Anyway, I thought I would go ahead and make a video. I had a couple of answers that I, I wanted to get out for this, this uh, thing about circumcision and, that, and the female circumcision, which is actually, uh, they call it anything they want, but it's basically mutilation. And, uh, you know, it all comes to down to the thing. This one man just said it here the other day. He wrote it, wrote it and he says, I wanted it for... Uh, cosmetic, he said, medical and aesthetic, as if it looks better or something. I don't understand that. Are you staring at your dick all the time? I don't understand that. I mean, don't you want comfort? Wouldn't you rather have protection and comfort? Why do you think the uh, uh, prophylactic is made the way it is? <coughs> yeah, to cover it, to shield it, shield it. In fact, it. People who are, are circumcised have a hell of a time trying to masturbate. Let me tell you, you haven't had any skin to grab a hold of it and, you know, actually do some real act pumping. You're screwed. You need lubrication. All kinds of crap. It's stupid. You shouldn't have to have any of that. But I'll tell you right there how unnecessary the procedure is. And then when kids come out of there, oh my gosh, talk about susceptible and suffering from infections. Staphylococcus, other viral disorder. It's all because you don't, just you don't clean up everything. You just on to the next guy. <laughs> if you've got foreskin and you can clean, you're covered from that. You're protected. You're not going to get a bunch of dust up in your urethra. You're not going to get a bunch of spang your at the at the crown part, the under shelf of the gland. Yeah, the head is called the gland because it's one big gland. And it's a pleasure producer, let me tell you. And you add 40,000 points of nervous pleasure on the prepuce itself. The prepuce is the foreskin. You've got this tremendous feeling. Trust me, I know. I'm not circumcised. No. I have never once had a woman accuse me of having a dog dick or anything like that. I never heard of that until here about six months ago some guy sent it to me. And I, the girls are going to make fun of you because you have a, a dog's penis. Well, that's because they're mammals. Every single mammal in this world has foreskin. And it's just basically for health protection. Foreskin on. Having it is healthy. When you slice it off, you leave yourself open to STDs, dirt, dust, irritations, and any other thing that can get around there. So do yourself a favor, especially if you're an adult. Please talk to some real doctors. Not, well, not that Jews aren't real, but talk to some Caucasian doctors. Because if you talk to a Jewish doctor, he's got his delusional Jewish reasons, uh, religious reasons for doing it, and he's not going to... Uh, refute those so he's going to try to convince you that it's okay and that's medically necessary when he's lying and it is not okay so second like i said please get your advice from a uh, caucasian or well non-muslim too that's weird it's weird everybody except for indians i think are the only ones that don't think about sex every time they turn around Every single thing, I mean, I don't know everything, but most of the things in your Bible, the things that you rule, the things, your, your, your different punishments, they all have these sexual connotations. I mean, how, just how, you know, how frustrated are you guys? And anyway, you're the one who said to say celibate. So, come on. You guys all need to stop this crap. Circumcision is nothing but a religious ritual. It's always been such. Always. It hurts. It hurts for a long time. Scars. It's unnecessary. So wake up and smell the coffee, please.
good night. Okay? I'm Gerald Reynolds, Portland, Oregon. Thanks for watching, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Ready? Good day.